I kind of want to see what uh, what would happen if you just strike this right now. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Have you ever wondered what would happen if you mix Mythbusters with The Walking Dead? We are Zombie Go Boom! Filmmakers and zombie survival enthusiasts. Using our scientifically accurate zombie heads, we put retail weapons, homemade weapons, and everyday objects to the test in order to see what will save you during the zombie apocalypse. Survive, protect, and kick undead ass! Hey, what's up, survivors? Welcome to another mind-blowing episode from Zombie Go Boom. I'm Chuck Murray. I'm Charles the Executioner Bolts. I'm world champion Knife and Tomahawk Thrower Adam Saladin. And we have a mind-blowing episode for you today. In The Walking Dead, Rick uses the Axe Gang Hatchet by Cold Steel as his primary weapon. Negan uses the Lucille, which is a barbed wire baseball bat, as his primary. Both of these weapons have been tested before. Both of these weapons got the overkill seal of destruction. Now we're gonna make them battle it out to see which one would be the victor if you had to pick between both of these weapons. And in order to do that, we've created the thickest, toughest, hardest Ivan head we've ever made. It's also over an inch and a half thick, so it's tough, it's hard, it's thick. But if there are any weapons that are gonna be able to get through this, it's gonna be those weapons. But one of them is going to be doing a lot better than the other, so there can only be one victor. And uh, who do you guys think it's going to be? I think it's going to be me. I think it's going to be me. Only one way to find out. Okay, Charles, so what are we going to be doing first? Well, first we're going to be throwing the baseball bat. Since we've got a hatchet that's going to be thrown by a world-class hatchet thrower, we're going to test both weapons evenly to see the differences between the two. Yeah, so long range first. Bat first, then the axe, and then we'll be moving to melee strikes, bat first, then the axe. Sounds awesome. All right, first up, Lucille with the full spin. Alright, as you just saw, Lucille is not so great for throwing, especially long distances. It takes a lot of power and you don't get much accuracy out of it. Plus, as you just saw, it missed and hit the swing set behind it and it actually cracked the bat. So we had to put some tape around it, but now we're going to do a no spin throw and get a little bit closer so we can get more accuracy but still have a little bit more power and then we're going to move on to the hatchet. But first, I want to know something real quick. Adam, what's your take on Lucille as a throwing weapon? Um, guys, uh, this is for melee attacks. The baseball bat is not meant for throwing, so it wasn't really Charles' fault that he break this bat. It's really difficult to be accurate with something that is not for throwing. That's a good point. All right, let's move on. Alright, so against a regular Ivan head, that throw and that much power would definitely have done something to it, but these overkill heads again are super tough and there's not even a scratch on it, so now it's time to move on to the axe. Alright, so the bat was worthless at full spin, it was okay at no spin, so we're going to try full spin again on the axe and we may not even have to try the no spin because this axe is good at both. It's, it's meant to be thrown, it's meant to be used as a melee weapon, let's see what happens.
Okay, so I said this before and I'll say it again. There are objects that make our heads look ridiculously hard. And there are objects that make our heads look ridiculously soft. Again, this is an overkill Ivan head. This is uh, the toughest head we have ever made. And on a throw, it was able to cut deep, deep through our incredibly thick and tough skin analog through our ridiculously tough foam analog, which is a different foam too. It's a much harder foam. And then into our plastic composite that we're using as a skull today, which is way tougher than what we normally use and into the cranial cavity and this is definitely a kill on the frontal bone also by the way from a throw from the axe gang hatchet it didn't break nothing bad happened it was easy to throw as far as this particular test is concerned this is the winner now let's see who wins the melee round All right, so this is how our melee round is going to work. We have a perfectly good parietal bone right here. Perfectly good parietal bone right here. So we're going to have Charles hit the parietal bone first. Vertical down strike. See what that does. Only one strike. Then we'll have Adam do the same thing on the other side. And whoever wins gets to completely annihilate this overkill Ivan. Are you guys ready? I'm always ready. All right. Yeah. Time to do it. Yeah, so we put a hole in it. Jeez, this is a... Okay, so not only do we have our regular skull material here, okay? But in front of that, we have this crazy material we made just for this overkill Ivan head. And this is harder, but it's also a little bit more brittle. And the other stuff, the regular bone material, is is tougher so it's not as hard but it's but it's a lot tougher it has more give so this weapon with that strike which was uh, a phenomenal strike by the way thank you um was able <clears throat> to crack a skull through this through our regular skull and then it pushed skull bits into the cranial cavity as you can see the cranial cavity or as i can feel the cranial cavity is still intact but it's been definitely compromised because there's been bone that's been pushed into it i don't know how else to explain that would this be a kill yeah probably let's see if the axe can do a better job Okay, so we hit a little bit to the right. It is the parietal bone, but it also cut straight through the temporal bone. If I open this up, you can see here's our crazy overkill bone material. Here's the regular bone material. And it not only cut in, but just kept going. The ax did not get stuck and it just exploded the parietal frontal and temporal bone area. The zombie was dead before he hit the ground. All right, so obviously the ax won the throwing part of this contest, and now it's time to figure out who won the melee part of this contest. Now, the Lucille did an extraordinary job, but Charles seemed like he put everything he had into it. How much did you, almost? Did About you 85%. 85%, how much did you put into that strike? No, no much effort. Really, like yeah, a medium strike? Just... And it did more damage. 
Not only that, but it's better at throwing, it's better at using just for regular survival uses. So as far as a post-apocalyptic kind of weapon, or if I were to put Rick and Negan in a gladiator match and fight to the death, I would say that Rick, even if he had less skill than Negan at fighting, would probably win pretty easily. What, what do you think? I think you're probably right. The axe is a lot faster, it takes less energy to use, and plus, like uh, Adam was saying earlier, you can carry multiple of them. Yeah, so you could carry three. So let's say Negan can only carry the one bat, Rick has three axes in this hypothetical scenario. He throws one, he misses, he throws two, barely connects, and then he still would have a third axe to just go in and melee. And actually, I kind of want to see what, uh, what would happen if you just strike this right now. Let's see, let's see what happens. Wow. Can you pull wow. it out? There we go. Wow. That was one hit, not even that hard, and it cut deep, deep into this hickory. That's like hickory bat. Almost halfway through it, man. Yeah. So it's like a third of the way through it. Rick would win. The victor of this contest is the Axe Gang Hatchet. And since this one, we're gonna let Adam here go crazy and destroy what's yeah. left of our overkill Ivan head. You ready for this? Oh yeah. Now let's do it. So the Axe Gang Hatchet obviously retains its overkill seal of destruction. Lucille kind of keeps it. It probably keeps it. Maybe we need to come up with something even better for the Axe Gang Hatchet because that thing is beast. Both of these have wooden parts. Both of those parts are made out of hickory wood, but 
the steel on the business end of this weapon just defeats that one. All the steel on this one adds is weight on the front and an inability to carry it properly, which is a problem. So I don't know. Do you think we picked the right winner? Let us know right here. Would you have picked the Lucille over the Axe Yang Hatchet? Just pull right there. But what we decided was this one. We think it's awesome. If you want to get your own, please go to coldsteel.com. Also, please subscribe to Adam. Link is in the description below. And Gizmo Slip is also in the description below. And with another mind blowing episode from Zombie Go Boom, I'm Chuck Murray. I'm Charles the Executioner Bolts. I'm Adam Silla, the World Champion, X and Knife Thrower. And if you want to see some kick ass tutorials and just trick shots, nice tomahawks, everything, again, check out his channel. And we'll see you next time.